Hey everybody, thanks for joining today. So I'm going to be throwing together a Mexican vegetable soup. These are all the ingredients. Got some fresh cabbage, some green beans I already washed and cut up, and I'm going to prepare everything else. Uh, got some garlic down here. Probably use about eight cloves or so of that. Got some cumin and a couple different chilies, a California chili and adobo chili, and then in the back there is cayenne pepper. Oh, and let me move that little zucchini. Um, I'm going to be putting hominy in this today. You can use regular corn, fresh corn, cut it off the cob. You can use it out of the can. You can use it frozen. You can do whatever you want. So I'll show you all these ingredients cut up and I will let you know how to prepare it. Okay, here we go. I have, this is a huge 18 quart pot, but you guys don't have to use one that big. I'm gonna go ahead and start with some olive oil. Since this is a bigger pot, I'm gonna use a good little bit. Probably at least a quarter of a cup, somewhere around there. Just enough to coat the bottom and whatnot of the pan. Turn the heat up a little bit. And then I went ahead and pre-cut up. This is a whole medium onion and approximately, I would say about at least a tablespoon, maybe more of, I did fresh garlic and a little bit of the store-bought already minced garlic. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that. Check the oil here. I wanna make sure the oil is warm first throw the tester in. Oh yeah, there we go. It's getting there. So add those in. So I'm just going to saute these up a little bit. There we go. Spoon holder. Yes. Okay, and we're just gonna let those cook down just a little bit. And while that's getting ready, I'm gonna show you guys, there's different kinds of cumin. I like to buy the Mexican varieties at the different stores. Um, there's usually a different Mexican section. I'm gonna just go ahead and pour it in. Um, it's about a tablespoon or so of cumin and the chili powder. And then I do about a half of tablespoon of cayenne because we like it spicy. Actually, this more might be more like two tablespoons. Turn that heat down a little bit. So this is a ground California chili. Add some of that. And then an anchoty chili, just a little bit of that one. All right, a little bit more of that one. There we go. These ones are kind of a pain, so I usually just put them in a Ziploc. That way they stay stored and sealed. And this is our fresh cayenne that we grow. I'm just going to go ahead and open it and just dump some in. There we go. All right, I'm give this a little stir. I'm going to add actually a little bit more oil, guys. quite good enough. Show you what it looks like in there. Ooh. So now I'm going to go ahead and add sorry about that. Now 
I'm going to go ahead and add two cans of diced tomatoes. We're just going to let that incorporate. Show you a picture of that. And I'm going to go ahead and add now a little bit of ground white pepper. I'm going to add a little black pepper you can. Just a couple shakes of that. Stir that in. All right. Now we're going to add everything we cut up. So I have four cups of potatoes, four cups of squash four cups of cabbage, and then later we'll add four cups of carrots. So you're just gonna dump this in. And I usually add the hard ingredients before I do the cabbage, so. Get that nice and stirred in there. And at this point, I like to go ahead and add this, some salt. I haven't added any salt yet. And so we have fresh vegetables, so we just need to add some salt. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and give that a stir. There we go. And now I'm gonna add the cabbage. So I'm gonna turn the heat up so medium or a little higher. And so I'm going to let this cook for probably about five or so minutes. Just want to get it incorporated. I'm going to go ahead and put the lid on. Keep all that heat in there. So we're going to let that cook down a little bit. I'll stir it a couple times and then we'll be back to add everything else. smell of vision It's really yummy. Mmm, smelling really good. All right. Now this is the point where we are going to add chicken stock so I just buy organic free-range chicken broth whatever chicken broth you'd like to use you can make your own that's even better looks pretty good, but I'm going to go ahead and add a fourth one. And these are 32 fluid ounces or one quart each. So it's going to be four quarts of liquid. You can always add extra water if you need to. Don't forget, you can use any other vegetables you choose. All right, so we're going to give this a little stir. this on medium to low heat 
and we're gonna let this cook for like I said before it's kind of hard to tell it just depends on how your stove cooks and how fast you want to eat but this is going to cook probably somewhere between 30 and 45 minutes we just want the vegetables uh, to get cooked and tender and then after that point we're going to add our green beans and hominy and let it cook for another 10 or 15 minutes and then we'll be ready okay let's check it out Whew. nice and hot That looks good. All right, now it's time to go ahead and add green beans and hominy. I'm just going to stir that in, incorporate it. I'm going to cook this, continue to cook this on low, probably for about 10, anywhere between 10 and 20 minutes or so. Like I said, depending on how kind of your stove cooks, go from there. So we're going to let that cook. That looks yummy. Mm. We'll come back and we'll plate that up with some tortilla chips and probably some cilantro. You could always use some sour cream too. And I'm gonna leave mine cracked just a little bit. And I'll turn the vent on once uh, this isn't recording, so. All right, we're gonna let that cook. Okay, everybody, here's the Mexican vegetable soup all ready to go. I topped it off with cilantro and some tortilla chips. Don't forget to add cheese if you'd like, and if you want to spice it up a little more, you can always add more peppers, fresh jalapenos, you can add kale, or anything else you'd want. Thanks for watching. Make it a gorgeous day, every day. Bye!